Hey everybody, welcome to Better Radio episode number 10. We're here with Jenny and Alex once again. Hey. And Liam, how are you doing? I'm still great, thinking about that uh, girl who said I look and sound <laughs> Not English. as in the past, a week ago for <laughs> the listeners. It still haunts them today. I, uh... We're gonna have to have her on now so you guys can settle this. She's a... <laughs> sorry, sorry. Oh. sorry. <laughs> English people say that shit all the time. English people say that shit all the time. Uh, I don't know who she is, but I only said that because if I was English, I would have gotten away with it. Not a. She's a wanker. We'll just record that. She's again. a wanker. Sorry, yeah, I, I had confused. Brian will just dub his voice over and say wanker. I confused my English. Wanker. Uh, yeah, racial slurs. Not racial slurs. I didn't mean to say racial. I just meant slurs. All right, let's take this. Awesome. We are off. Down. Episode ten is off to a start. Yeah. Episode yeah. ten is up to and, uh, a start. Yeah, Liam, how are you doing? I'm all right. That's I'm great. pretty good. I just put my foot in my mouth. And choked well, it's, it's on it pretty it hard. It's it out, Definitely so. don't edit that out. No reason to edit that out whatsoever. <laughs> I said everything. I'd say it again. I'll say it any day ever. Um, she sounds like a lovely lady. I'm good. I'm very good. Not thinking about that girl who said I look and sound English. You know, no reason to think about that. Dwelling My on the past. Krista. Well, now I'm thinking about her again. <laughs> so I had forgotten her name, and I hadn't. Definitely hadn't. Uh, I'm doing good. I'm doing good, Brian. Thanks for asking. Okay. <laughs> so today's episode is going to be spotlighting Jenny. You guys know her from streaming and also one of the hosts of Those Fake Nerds. Jenny, you can talk a little bit about your role in Wicked Everything, how you got involved and in, you know, how you're trying to get back out there doing it. Yeah, I'm the most socially awkward person in this channel. <laughs> and also happened to be the one that did a lot of the front facing stuff at first, so I apologize. Burnt, burnt Jenny out on it. <laughs> it was a lot of social. Too much spotlight. Yeah. yeah, I wasn't prepared. Did you go on a or something? <laughs> no, I'm just she didn't let it go to her head. It's like I'm a fucking star. <laughs> no, <Just drinking. laughs> it was too much. Try to stop. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was. It's a. It was a good learning opportunity, having grown up. Mm. I think I, I'm quite um, naive when it comes to the internet mm -hmm. and the interwebs. So and what's, the trolls. Like, what's it like not constantly craving attention all the time? <laughs> Can't relate. It's just overwhelming <laughs> when people look at me. Go on. Yeah. He <laughs> was like, I would also like to know. I'm dying. No, I don't know. I just find it, it was interesting that people actually would come and keep coming <laughs> i figured that i would ruin it in the first like two seconds that i started talking but we had a few regulars which actually was really nice yeah um and they were fantastic neon galaxy shout out mm -hmm. um jaws roblox Explorer. yeah oh my god yeah uh then <laughs> literally within seconds of starting the stream they would be um in the mm -hmm. chat so that was really nice uh, and helped kind of make it a better experience when there were trolls which there are many uh rip me because i am stuff to stream as a girl and as someone who's not internet savvy, <laughs> is that fair to say? Oh, a hundred percent. So what? So yeah, what was that like? Um, we obviously, when we started the channel, we were like, oh yeah, we'll like stream, <laughs> and then it kind of just really became you streaming most of the time. Yes. So kind of talk talk a little bit about that. Yeah, I did not know what I was getting myself into. I watched no one before. No, one shot girl. I watched one shot girl. And I was like, that looks fun. I could do that. Play mm -hmm. games the whole time. Oh my god. You cannot, there's like a one second window if someone comes into chat and says hi for you to respond yeah, for them not that. to just be like, this girl doesn't talk, I'm mm. out. Right. And it's, you basically just have to keep talking the entire time. It's very exhausting mm. as someone who does not like to talk all the time. Mm. <laughs> Can uh, you <laughs> I was three podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it, I mean, it's a lot of fun, but I would make the mistake of getting really into a game and I'd play for like straight up just four hours. I yeah, there are a lot of times I'm like, so it's one in the morning, Jenny. I think I'm going to go to bed. Are you going to keep streaming? <laughs> you're like, yeah, yeah, just gonna go. yeah, streaming, playing the game. Yeah. <laughs> well, the worst is actually after you're done streaming and you try to go to bed like a normal person and you're mm. laying there and you're like just kind of in an adrenaline rush and I like, can't sleep right. for the whole time. All night, but yeah, no, I never. You like, should try methadone. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's not true. I like streaming when, if like, say the four of us were streaming a game, I would yeah. like that. That's really fun for me. Me alone, 
I hate, I can't yeah. do that. I'm like the opposite. If I'm you're not going good for... enough at games. Not That's good enough at games yeah. and not good enough at engaging the chat. Yeah, right, exactly. Right. That was the challenge because it's really all about engagement when I mostly play. Like sometimes, I'm pretty sure there's a few streams of me playing Sims where I actually didn't play Sims. I ended up just like talking the whole time, which was nice. Yeah. Because sometimes I'm really bad at playing Sims and I don't mm. want to show people that, but... Yeah. And I'm kind of too much of a know-it-all nerd about stuff sometimes, too. Like, we went down, I was showing Spider-Man, and someone came in with some lack of knowledge about something, and I was like, cool, no, you don't know what you're talking about. That's <laughs> this. I don't think they appreciated that. You can be bad at The Sims. <laughs> yes. Your Sims can die. And I'm and not going like, to say how many Your Sims only die if you, like... Okay, again, yeah, the reason I played The Sims is I would just invite a bunch of people over and have a pool party <laughs> and set fireworks off indoors. Things can delete set the on doors. fire. The doors, yeah. If you're poor and you have Some to have move. like a bad yeah. oven, it can set on fire. And they don't understand to run away. They stand right next to it and do a slow dance of like there's <laughs> fire and then they catch on fire and then they die. Like, move, you idiot! Run! They can get electrocuted by lightning. They can drown. Just like real life. They don't, like it. You can't drown anymore. Though. Very unrealistic. Can't drown anymore. No, they can crawl out of the pool without a ladder. I mean, that makes oh sense, my god! So well, where's the fun? Where's the fun in the game? How do you have fun with that? Vanilla Sims, like uh, yeah. vanilla. Let me show you there, are, there are ways. You can still do a cheat. I'm pretty sure to put a wall around the edge of the pool. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> so they can't get. Up. I have not no. tried this, but no, actually, I don't actually play most of the game itself. I do most of um, building houses. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not very good at it, but I. I don't know. Like you make it. some cool stuff. I think. Yeah. I mean, it's mostly fun to have people in the chat help me build a house. We made a donut-shaped house. Oh, yeah. It was awesome. Fun. Yeah, it was really good. And uh, so, other than Sims, what kind of games are you into? Oof, Overwatch. Overwatch, yeah. Yeah, as we <laughs> talked about in the last podcast, we're a big mm -hmm. Overwatch group. Um, taking guys, a break currently, but... <laughs> We're pretty uh, good. <laughs> Alex, Jenny, some more. They carry me <laughs> a lot. Um, I like that you guys good. like still like that game after like it's so many. It's fun. They've done a lot of work to keep it interesting. Keep it interesting, yeah. And I think really, I think that all started later. The, yeah, we started a little bit later than it began, and oh, um, yeah. I think the competitive nature of it keeps us like playing of it too. <laughs> yes. Like wanted to be the teams and stuff yeah. like that. It's yeah, cool. we can get very intense. Whenever I played, like, oh, well, I don't know. I don't nearly play as much as I used to, mm -hmm. but like. Like, honestly, I, I like competitive shooters a little bit. Yeah, no, but you're one of the best shooters. I, I was, I'm not, I don't know, I was okay. You're like professional level <laughs> Gears of War. Yeah, I was, dude. I was very good at Gears of War, which is unfortunate. Been, Gears 5 about to come out, team. actually. Yeah, I'm going to play oh, that game. Go it. No, I'm yeah. going to play it. It's those, I don't know. I just don't, I don't, like I said, I don't, I don't play it enough like I used yeah. to do. Like in high school, if I was in Gears, yeah, I was really, really good at Gears of War 3, but, mm -hmm. um, no, these days if I play it was a game, ridiculous. it's ridiculous. Honestly, watching you play was like, watch it. Like the people you're playing with were good, obviously, because they were your rank. But it looked like toddlers compared to. <laughs> Dude, you should put ridiculous. you should put some of those clips I have in if you uh, this have one. Some, yeah. I got I got some Send classics. Yeah. I got some classic stuff. But uh, no, I don't know. It it it, it uh. I don't play it like a, a, enough to stay as good as I was. You know what I mean? But, but like literally, my kill death ratio was higher than my GPA. Consi <laughs> considerably. That's usually how it goes. Considerably. But uh, it um. No, these these days. Like one of those things, like the higher KD is, the lower your GPA goes. Right? Uh, yeah. What's more important and yeah. inversely proportional. Uh, <laughs> at my time, exactly. That's good. Um. Yeah, these days I just I like I would play like single player stuff mostly. Mm. So I like I like uh, you guys are still into a competitive shooter for the competitive side of it. I mean, it's got a good. Yeah, like, I mean, like I said, they're really good at it. I'm not that good. I hope to get decent someday. Like you're getting good. I'm getting better. Yeah, and I like playing like the tankier roles because harder so harder to die, and then like pretty like straightforward what to do. But like mm. like Alex has incredible aim. So he'll, yeah. he'll play a lot of the yeah. characters. <laughs> Jenny has really great game sense from playing it a long time. Yeah. And then I'm also there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm enjoying it. It's fun. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's why I like the game so much is yeah. I'm terrible at aiming, and I didn't grow up playing on the PC. I was No, like, that's one of the, the things, GameCube. too, is, like, you're all learning, <laughs> mm -hmm. or we are learning, um, you know, a new, PC gaming. new way of playing. Yeah. 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 But with Overwatch, you can find lots of characters to ease you into it, where it doesn't really rely yeah. so much on... You can still be very right. good without having perfect yeah. aim, based off I of your strategy. I will say, I'm a pretty decent Call of Duty player. 
player on console. Like, Call of Duty. I would say pretty decently above average. But playing Call of Duty on computer was a humbling experience. <laughs> <laughs> like going back to like being an infant. Yeah. <laughs> They're better Shadows. equipped than you, though, right? <laughs> Everyone just shoots you in the head every yeah. time. Because, like, the way to play a lot in consoles, you know, you aim for the center and you just, like, yeah. kill that. No. Everyone in PC is yep. headshots only. <laughs> so, so, like, relearning where to aim on someone was really hard. And I'm still not, like, that good at it. Yeah. Mm, mm. Listen, I can be anybody in any Nintendo GameCube game. No. You're throwing down the gauntlet right now. Right there. I need to get a GameCube. <laughs> I have a GameCube. And my Wii. And play Smash. Super Mario Strikers. Paul uh, Cypher is a comedian on the scene. Mm-hmm. He's a professional Smash Brothers really? player, I think. Yeah. Why has he not come on our podcast yet? Um, and he's done a crossover <laughs> event with us. I don't know how much fun he'd be to talk he's to. He's too busy training, Why? I just... Don't. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm <laughs> fucking around. No, Paul's a great guy. I'm just fucking around. I don't know. I could ask him. Yeah. He, yeah, that'd he, uh, be awesome. he just won a battle royale, stand up comedy battle royale show at uh, oh, Improv Boston. Nice. It was cool. I'm glad he that. Did yes. Yeah. That no, he, he did. Uh, yeah. Battle royale. That's he, how I understand it. Oh, yeah. He killed 16 <laughs> dropping, other boys? comedians. <laughs> he, had a, he went on a tear. Dark turn. <laughs> he went on a tear. Is the mic stand <laughs> throwing it? He lobbed it. Yeah, it's effective. He's choking someone with a mic. <laughs> oh, God. You love to see it. Yeah. That's dedication to prop comedy that you love to see yeah. in battle royales. Yeah. yeah. It was really exciting stuff, man. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, no, yeah. Uh, I would imagine just like voting each round, one person gets eliminated, something uh, like that. I don't actually have any idea. Oh. I wasn't there. Have to I didn't. Learn. Yeah. But you have him here. He's like, yeah, I got killed. Yeah, fifteen people. No, I mean Paul's. I mean, Jesus. <laughs> Paul's pretty funny, so yeah, I bet he. Yeah. Did, he I'm, I'm sure if it was just a two funniest in the room thing, he was the funniest in the room. So yeah, yeah, yeah he's really good. Um, cool. and I would love to talk to him about professional Smash Bros. That sounds awesome. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like the that would be what you'd call it. He's amazing at it. He's so good. Uh, I will rephrase. Uh, I will not be everyone in that game. Sure, yeah, you can beat everyone except. <laughs> Okay. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Right here. <laughs> yeah, I always think I'm bad at Smash because um, you know I just play Pokemon. Apparently, they're not very good in that. Uh, they're not great. <laughs> Pikachu made for life. I was gonna say the Nintendo 64 version. The only like option of the Pikachu is just to do a lightning bolt right. down every time. Oh yeah. Oh, Although yeah. I do think someone just won a tournament with Pikachu, and it was a big deal because people were like. What? This is like, like impossible. One of those things like don't know how to counter because no one ever plays them. That good That's a good point. Yeah. Mm. yeah. No, I, I feel like Liam. We grew up. Um, yes. We didn't have. Yeah, that's it. You're anyway, a big kid so now. next mm. topic. Mm-hmm. Um, so we're talking about video games on a podcast. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like yeah, so we grown up, adults. We grew do. up. Our first console was the PS2. Classic. Yep. Everyone loves the PS2. Yeah. First game I ever played was yeah. 007 played Agent PS2? Under Fire. Yeah, fucking great game. At last the time. We didn't mission know was impossible. <laughs> Very yeah. fun game, but the last mission I could never beat because it was I, bullshit. I, I thought a lot about that. I think we didn't pick up fuel at some point for the jetpack because <laughs> it did not work. Lots of sleepless nights spent thinking about yeah, this one wrong. I don't know. It would have. It would have amazed. Right to the end. No, it would have amazed me if, like, as a kid, I couldn't figure that out because if i made it to the le- that le- there was a lot in that game if i made it yeah. through every level and right, didn't yeah, have yeah. that there was i believe the last level was just complete bullshit they wanted you to try it over and over again you'd have to go back and try it again because there was this game the task could probably beat it devil today. on the game the best mm. game love it um that my sisters and i could not beat for the life of us we had no idea where we were supposed to go or like what to do to finish the game we knew where we were at the end and literally probably like six or ten years later we went back to see if we could figure it out <laughs> within minutes still held on to this <laughs> within <laughs> minutes we figured out what the fuck to do and finished the game yeah i mean if i i guess if i the opportunity presents itself i would i would probably play that game again but have our ps2 no i don't think so some of the original xbox unless mom dead threw it out in which case i'm gonna be sad but, uh, <laughs> well, i mean the xbox one is so backwards could, compatible so there's literally no maybe point find what i'm saying is we can maybe find agent under fire for that oh really yeah and then play you know, I don't know if it was a PS2 exclusive or anything at the time. I don't know if I care enough. I do really want to see how that ends. If it is, if it is one of those things where it's like a two-second like figure out, and yeah. I'm, I'm going to be like, ah, oh, I was a dumb kid, but it's certainly possible. Yeah. But what I was saying was we grew up with the PS2 and then the Xbox and the 360. We, 
are some of the only like people in our age group who were not Nintendo people at all. Yeah, not even a little bit. No. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We played adult games. You guys, games I mean, for adults. I mean, so we got a Nintendo 64 in, I want to say 98, mm-hmm. maybe 99. Right, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where is didn't buy us an N64? They, they weren't about that. Yeah, so I don't I, know. I, so I, I don't think we we definitely I mean, we definitely had that for a few years, and um, PS2 is what we got. Maybe like a year after Grand Theft Auto 3 came out. Yeah. Mm. Started off on my Game Boy Color. I still have it. It still works. Really? Yeah, I played Alice in Wonderland on it. it was a t- Toy Story. That was a good yeah. one. Uh, and then we got the GameCube, and then mm. the Wii. And that I didn't play any other video games for like a bazillion years until I met you. And now I'm obsessed with everything. <laughs> Brought you back to the nerd side of things. Well, it's more like that but you isn't come to me. The best. Like now, like we're living uh, in yeah. the best time ever for video games. And also, in the expensive. future, obviously, it's just gonna get better and better. Like forever, the rest of our lives is just gonna be awesome video games forever. And we'll have no Maybe. money. Maybe I don't know. I, I mean, cannot like, imagine stopping playing video games is what i'm I saying i don't know overwatch i feel like how can a game trump that for me I, I, i'm not sure <laughs> i've heard i've heard this from my dad and they were in vegas back in may mm-hmm. and they tried him and his friend tried the um like the really fancy virtual reality like yeah. the big open room games they have oh. there so it was a star wars style one and he said it was like one of the best things he's ever it's done be, it's gonna be awesome I'm so i'm looking forward to like more stuff like that no. We are gonna get so uh, into that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you should buy an Oculus Rift for your computer. I, I thought about it. Get the Oculus um, Quest. I'm gonna get what's the difference? Quest. It's just a really, it's a cheaper model, but like you don't even need a computer to use it. I think. Oh, yeah, but I, I would want like a computer so I could drive it really no, fast. No, you could drive it. Yeah, yeah, it'd be it'd be a better experience. Yeah. You have the equipment. I mean, I would definitely invest. Yeah, in Yeah, I but... thought about it. Just the the games that I play don't aren't the ones that are supported really. Yeah. Dude. I remember getting really excited about the idea of an omnidirectional treadmill with VR, yeah. but I, it never really caught on. No, I, I just remember that one video where oh, they're yeah. playing Counter Strike Source. Yeah, that'd be so and fun. And that's what it'd be, be fun in for. Really good shape yeah. cause <laughs> run around. Well, I died. Got to run back to where yeah, my exactly. teammates are. Oh, uh, you know, I know that like, game. You died. I think, dead, I think a, like the way that would work is if like you went to a place where it was like that was set up almost like a laser tag arena. There's yeah. one near us. And if you did that, does Apex Entertainment do that kind of thing? I don't know or, if it's Apex, but... I'll there's one for, in. like, the, the zombies. Yeah, it's like basically like Call of Duty zombies, but... It's like a giant it? warehouse. It's like a warehouse, yeah. Yeah, it's not that expensive yeah, either. I've got to see if they'll do a video promotion with us. I know um, they're, they're putting a video game complex up like that at the old Worcester Auditorium. Oh, That's what? the old that? space. I think I've heard some kind of, like, you know, advanced video game thing there. Plus an action shooter. guys. Future. It's Worcester. Here. Promote, love it. Yeah, Worcesters. The dirty wheel. Blowing up. I'm saying it. I'm saying it. Yeah, Liam's been hard on the Worcesters going up. Uh, I think 10 years from now it's going to be the city, it's going to be the new boss. You're going to get the boss ox. It's going to be sweet. Yeah, we're just going to no steal yeah. other. <laughs> yeah. Yo, Kelly Square is not that big of a deal. For us, because we're used to it. It's everyone yeah, else that comes and fucks like, Even then, it's only a big deal if you're going to like one of the not main streets. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, dude, but like I've done, I don't know, I've done literally every turn. Oh, yeah, yeah. For, like, I mean, and it's, it's just like. You just got to go. Close your eyes and just go. It's it fine. depends on the time of day, too, though. Also true. Yeah, um, I guess. 8.30, 9 o'clock in the morning, I would not drive through it because it's just back to the way Like 2.90. Rush hour, yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I got the squares on the mess. We'll it's not good. Really, on whatever. the screen of that. Uh, um, Rit. Uh. But also, Kelly Square has a bunch of great like bars and restaurants yeah. around it. So you got Wings over Worcester. Nick's Insomnia Bar Cookie. Electric Insomnia. I gotta try that. I haven't. Ooh. Ooh. Just, we're we're going back home. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go right now. Oh, <laughs> water. Like yeah, because for your birthday, I remember we went out over in that area. Michael's Cigar Bar. Right. It's nowhere near there. No, that was my birthday. And Kayla's birthday. Where did we go for my birthday? When? We went to... No, we went to Michael's Cigar Bar for your birthday. No, that's, that was my birthday. That was, was Brian's it? birthday. <laughs> yeah. He's right, he's we right about that. What we the went, fuck? Did, I have no over we recollection went to, of that um, night, I guess. Mm-hmm. The really shitty dive <laughs> I guess, bar. I guess I just thought we it was went, yours because you were the one that chose we it. We went to the friends. dive bar. Yeah, we, we went to the Vernon. Our friend, yeah, the Vernon. We had yep. our friend at the gay bar. Electric Daisy or something? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. I really don't remember this Wait, that well. You You were getting pretty drunk. This is his 21st birthday. Where did you go after that? Oh, no. Oh, we before all that, we went to the beer garden. Right, uh, yeah. That place is actually really nice. I yeah, I like that. I haven't been back. but it was I good. should go again. Um, go and then time. we ended the night by getting wings. It was great. 
I forgot oh, the wings. I no wings. recollection of this. <laughs> did we stay in a hotel? Yes, yes we did. <laughs> not a, no, the, a motel. A motel. <laughs> like a motel. Yeah. I did not deserve did the title. I remember that. No, no, this is Holiday Inn. Oh, okay. Wow. Uh, Mur- Murder wow. Motel. Is, Murder Motel wow. just gets sold or something? <laughs> yeah. Rich Gee Indian. whiz. <laughs> Huh? So I just I really don't remember the night at all. Like I no, kind of forgot. Like I knew it must have been a good time. Remember the end of night, Alex and I were eating buffalo chicken wings. It was like this is a good night. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. fun. <laughs> uh, in this rundown hotel. Yeah. Wow, that was so. We didn't throw up the next so morning. It was a good morning. It was a good day. <laughs> oh, you did it? No, we didn't. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, it was. It was good. It was, <laughs> can't ask for a better um, <laughs> experience. Didn't get too drunk. Had right. delicious wings. Yep. Didn't get sick. Mm, mm. Win, win, win. Um, unlike the last, the other day when we were at uh, that beach house and I passed out immediately. <laughs> oh, you mean a couple weeks ago? Yeah, a couple oh. weeks ago. We still don't throw up, though. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> I maybe threw up a little. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't this time. I definitely laid on the bed for like four hours, <laughs> say, at the ceiling while it spun. <laughs> That's hilarious. We gotta, we gotta get drinking again. I'm always dumb. I do it all the time. <laughs> Well, I'm drunk now. Labor Day. Labor Day? Oh. Labor Day? I would. Is that? Is this Monday? S- this Monday? Yeah, I'm going to be in Florida. Darn it. I mean, you guys, I, I'll be there. <laughs> nope, I you gotta, can't I have gotta, fun without me. <laughs> I gotta record the Buffy podcast <laughs> Sunday. But we'll figure it out. Yeah. yeah. On this podcast right now. <laughs> no, I don't think the <laughs> listeners are too keen on. So, um... To get back a little bit to the topic, you've, you've kind of taken a step back from the channel, yeah. trying to, you know, get your life in order and figure out what you want to do next. With Make the you channel. sound like a hot mess. Yeah, I mean, Which we all accurate. we all do it. <laughs> you know, we all have yeah. to figure stuff out. You know. Well, I think like unlike probably mo- most people who are streaming every day, uh, they don't also work a full time job. Um, right. Well, none of the bigger people for sure. Because they can afford not to. But I yeah. was working a full time job, which also required we'll me to say, work a lot of overtime. smaller people. Obviously, they work. We don't want anyone to come. Oh, like, yeah. I mean, a lot of people, people grind and try to get up. The there other work. people like Yo, any we are streamer out there. can come at us. I could give a <laughs> fuck about you. It is hard work. Okay? I bet. Yeah, it's real hard playing a video game, being entertaining. <laughs> sounds impossible. Well, it's not like playing a video game. Like I guess when I play video games, I don't want to talk about what I'm doing. A lot of times, just streaming. Oh no, it's I, not about yeah. having fun. It's about like. <laughs> Just uh, just playing something because you feel an obligation to. Well, that, that sounds like, like a terrible experience to me. I don't like it unless it's with friends, like I said. Yeah, uh-huh. I mean, it really helped early on to help grow the channel, which I was oh, happy yeah. for because a I lot. knew, you know, part of the reason why I wanted to, to do the streaming for the channel was because I don't know how to do video editing. I'm not hilarious. I don't know how to write scripts. So, like, the only thing I contribute is my awkward face and my average gameplay <laughs> and it worked out because uh sims was really the go-to win for us yeah, there's so people many people out us. there so many people i was like surprised i mean i grew up watching my older sisters play the sims mm. and nancy drew i actually never played like real them. life streaming just, just <laughs> for you <laughs> right <laughs> that's a good point but so i never really i guess i forgot about that and then when people started to watch it again i was like why are people watching me just play the sims right now and then I think back, and it makes a lot of sense. Like it's just a very, you know, low key, easy game to play. Right. But it would require you filling in the gap because there's not a lot of interesting things to talk about when you're playing The Sims. You've yeah. never had a Sim die on stream? No, thankfully not. But I've had Sims die in the past. They turn into ghosts. So you're not very good at Sims, though. <laughs> like I said, Again, I like the to objective build. is to kill as many <laughs> I mean, Sims as possible. <laughs> it just happens really sometimes fun. too. I definitely <laughs> played maybe Sims two or something at one point. And uh, one of the people in the household was electrocuted while repairing yes. the TV. It just, like, happens. And, no, so the ghost came back oh, and yeah. killed the other woman in the house. What? <laughs> wow. And just orphaned the kids. That's good. Oh, <laughs> it yeah. was dark. That's, that's good storytelling. It's, uh, what is it? What do they call that? When it's a uh, nonlinear storytelling that happens in a game. It's, uh, it's... I'm gonna think of it. Give me Aren't a sec. Uh, situational, Jeez. no, situational. <laughs> it's situational storytelling. Situational I think so. That's what it's called. That's I could be wrong. When the game makes its own story. Dynamic. I don't know. It's something like that. No, no, it's something like that. I don't know. They used. It was a hot term for a minute there, like lunar like narrative in, dissidents. Uh, oh, like like in Red Dead, where it's like yeah, stuff will just be happening around you. Yeah. And you can 
or, See, like, or like no it's more like in red dead when you like you get into a fight with some npc outside the mm-hmm. bar and like it, it's a different like it s- things play out right. with your interaction person. yeah you know it just yeah, the guy the next time you see him is still like, no, fuck you, buddy. And he's something like that, yeah. Where, like, most games you can beat the shit out of an NPC, and the next time they see you, like, hey, like, nothing happens. Oh, yeah. 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 I think the don't worst know what part I'll try and remember what that is called. I feel like whatever I said, situ- I don't know. I feel like it's more than that. It will come to you. Yeah, it will, and it'll bother the shit out of me. <laughs> Until then. Oh, man. But, yeah, so. I'm gonna figure it out. You know, you. Like Alex, one of the rotating hosts in the Itchio show. Have you yes. been enjoying doing that? Yeah, actually, it's probably my favorite series so far. Yeah, well, there's just a lot of really cool games out there uh, that are free. Some also very weird games <laughs> out there that we have experienced. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, man. It's all very normal. Some real keepers, <laughs> let me say. Clip to last game played. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, last time was a rough, a rough go round. We could not find a very. Uh, great game to play. <laughs> it's okay. Well, well, tomorrow I had to recreate the audio on one of our playthroughs um, of one? the game of uh, one, one of the haunted uh, games that we played. Uh, oh. Yeah. That's the only downside about these is y'all make me play the scary ones, and yeah, I don't. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I've gotten better actually. I have to say I am not as well. That's not fair. I I do jump a lot, but I don't have as many nightmares about games i've played so my, my brain good. is catching up it's not real oh man <laughs> and yeah do you have any series you want to work on for the channel it's a comeback Ooh. do i <laughs> tell you me i have a lot of ideas the problem yeah. is again that i don't have a lot of time mm-hmm. um i've wanted to do something with like a zelda series because mm-hmm. that's actually my favorite game ever all of them wind waker is the best Twilight Princess's second bust. Mm-hmm. Um, Ocarina. <laughs> okay. I said Ocarina. <laughs> Fine. Ocarina. <laughs> Motherfucking time. Okay, but Wind are you Waker, kidding? No, Wind Waker was the best. I haven't played the other ones. Wind Waker is the first game ever, and maybe the only game that I've actually played from start to finish more than once. Mm-hmm. I have a rule about that with books as well. There's only one book, and it's obviously my favorite book that I've actually read more than once. Mm-hmm. And honestly, I hate series series i refuse to read them i just want the story to be one and what? done i don't have time to read a, like a series interesting yeah so this actually this, this, my favorite book is a series. <laughs> kill the cast <laughs> oh, <it's just> like, <laughs> well, like, 95 percent of the people are going to disagree with this yeah. i just don't have time i just want the story to have a start and an end, a happy ending preferably and then we harry never potter, ruin it gross <laughs> the seven books no didn't read harry potter I know. I know. <laughs> We're all aware. Okay, but not my fault. We moved to Sweden. Yeah, it's just and we one lost of the greatest the, no. children's stories of all time. We it's lost the first book, and Maggie was like, oh, just start with the second one. It made no sense. I was like 10. Well, well that was just stupid. Well, you know who has all the books, Jenny? <laughs> I'm not going to do it. it <laughs> I do. The you can rule. read them. <laughs> I, I'd, I'd read them. Me, me and Maggie just listened to the first audiobook on the way to New Hampshire last week. <laughs> awesome. What yeah, was yeah. living in Sweden like? <laughs> Probably the best part of my life. Not That's as magical sad. as it could have been, let me just say. No, it was the most magical. <laughs> Highly recommend. <laughs> okay. Jenny, I'm listening. <laughs> Thanks, Liam. Yep. No, Sweden was great. Um, we moved there when I was about five or six. We were there for three years. I came back in middle school, prime time. It was the worst. It was a culture, culture shock coming home than it was mm. actually going to Sweden, which I found interesting. People here like, in oof, school I didn't mean, know that uh, America was so awesome. No, well. <laughs> no. <laughs> we're just very clicky here compared yeah. um, to thinking about schools. Although, granted, I went to an international school, so it was a little different. But, right. yeah, growing up there was uh, a really great experience, yeah. and I think it made me more accepting of a lot of different people and cultures. And, you know, I travel around um, in Europe, too. But I definitely want to go back because it's been a while, and yeah. I don't remember a lot of it. And some of it's hard to run you know, when I think back it's, to the experience, it's like, do I remember this? Or did someone tell me this story after the fact and mm. now I remember? So it would be nice to go back and kind of re-experience a lot of right, right. those memories. But yeah, if you guys ever get the chance to study abroad, live abroad, definitely highly recommend. Cool. Yeah. Very cool. Everyone used to think I was Swedish. 
That's was true. the most uncomfortable thing because I was well, my friend, uh, my friend Gayla, she for a while after we were dating, she was like, yeah, Danny's Swedish, like from Sweden, right? <laughs> my literal like, best no, friend. She for real is not. <laughs> my literal best friend in high school. Yeah. We've been best friends all my entire life. Mm-hmm found out maybe my senior year of high school that I wasn't actually Swedish and I, I think I betrayed her. <laughs> that <laughs> that trust. I thought I was friends with a cool foreign girl. This is... <laughs> you, you're, oh, you're, yeah. all yeah. you're from Holden? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think you kind of shrugged the cool factor in me apparently. When people thought I was like could speak Swedish. Mm. I literally can just sing happy birthday and count to ten <laughs> and say hi. And say thanks. Yeah. And thanks. Get, talk get you cats. far. Is that, what was it? Did you just talk? I, oh God! Someone's gonna like come into the chat here and be like, "Girl doesn't even speak Swedish." I think it's talk. Uh, thanks. Yeah, I think Maggie always says "talk Yeah, that's, thank you very much. Yeah. Cool. I don't think we have a lot of Swedish listeners. Yeah. You're wrong. Asian <laughs> Sweden? No. Yeah, you're probably. Trying right. to reach an international audience. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I heard Eric sometimes uh, listens to our stuff. Eric, help. <laughs> I heard they don't even have internet there, so. Well, that's not true. <laughs> not true. <laughs> Maybe it's not American, like the northern so. parts. They had PewDiePie. Thank you. Gamers. That was my PewDiePie impression. That's that good. pretty great. Thanks. Well, actually, that kind of is a good segue. You've been getting really into PewDiePie lately. Yeah. You used to hate him. He's a strong word. Greatly disliked, or maybe uh, not disliked. I didn't get it. Um, mm. I didn't really understand. Also, part of it could be again to the fact that I didn't really grow up on the internet and I mm. didn't understand memes and even memes anything. Meme. And right. when he does his meme reviews, I'm like, this is stupid and a waste of my time. <laughs> and then he started the Minecraft series. And that's when the games. Fire Nation attack. Yeah. <sighs> I get it now. <laughs> I get, you get the love. The appeal of PewDiePie. You understand why 100 million people have subscribed <laughs> to him. He puts in so much effort. Mm. And he just got married. And he got married in Minecraft. And he has a dog named Sven. And he almost died many times. He's Wait, killed in, all in Minecraft or a dog yeah, in real life? Yeah, yeah. Okay, in okay. In real life, no, I'm just kidding. But yeah, now I get it. And the meme review. Now that I actually understand the memes and the references. The Minecraft, <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm one of them now. But wow. Subscribed. She's, yeah. uh, she's part of the bro army now. Wow, army. This, is, uh, this is insightful. Yeah. Yes. Oh, man. Well, is there anything else you'd like to bring up on this episode before we call it? No, nothing in particular. Anything you want to promote? No. Uh, that's not to everyone because most of the <laughs> most time, people have other things going yeah. on. This is how it's not people from our channel when it's like interviewing. People. I think we've interviewed Kevin Knightley. Yeah. And so I guess he was a comedian. That well, was so we could have mentioned that to him. Yeah. True. Well, people have uh, Minecraft realms that they would like me to. Oh yeah, leave them in the see. comments down below, and we'll go visit your Minecraft well, worlds. If you want to play Rocket League, been getting back into that again lately. For some reason, although people are really mean in Rocket League are on they? the Xbox, yeah, and you have no. you can't even like type because it takes too much effort with the Xbox, so they just like very sarcastically use like the wow things, like, <laughs> nice <Hilarious>. shot, <laughs> even though you missed and it wasn't your fault or your own goal, and they right. say nice shot. Wow, I know the sarcasm <laughs> between. <laughs> and actually, someone did take the that freaking goes time. Your psyche right there. It really hurt my soul because. <laughs> I used to be good because I played it all the time, but it's been a few years. And someone dissed my car. They actually spent the time to type something on Xbox, which anybody that knows is an effort, Mm -hmm. and literally just said, your car's ugly. (laughs) Whoever that was, I hate you. I hope you get run over by a real car, but not really, but maybe in my rocket league. I hope they get run over by a real car. Thanks, Liam. In front of their family. pretty, pretty mean to say. He did the team little team bug. Team. I have the little bug. I'm on your side. I think what you said was mean. It was so mean, and I'll call for it. What? And then after that, I scored two goals, and then we still lost because <laughs> it, by that point it was still like five to zero, <laughs> and then five to two. But I redeemed it. You did your best, Alex. Anything you'd like the people to check out? Any uh, of your music? Anything like that? Check out my drum channel. Link up here. Yes. Well, Boom. Put in one of those cards that come out. Yep. And uh, yeah, look forward to more WG projects I'm part so, of. Liam, how about you? Where can they find you? Um, I'm trying to think of when this would be. Is this next? This would be this Sunday, or um, this one would be next week. So before, like after Labor Day. After Labor Day. Yeah. Okay. So at that point, um, the Woot Nanny Comedy Festival is coming up. 
uh, mm-hmm. the end of September, which is exciting. Is that the same place as the Wuha Wuha? No, no. Uh, the w- the <laughs> Wuha Ha Comedy Club. You uh, disrespectful. Um, I'm no. kidding. I'm totally. <laughs> ki- I'm totally kidding. I'm totally totally kidding. Totally kidding. Uh, uh, the Wuha Comedy Club uh, is separate from the Wootenanny Comedy Festival. The Wootenanny Comedy Festival is the Worcester Comedy Festival, oh, cool. uh, which I am going to be featured in. Wow. Yeah. Congrats. Yeah. Nice. I'm looking Betty. forward to it. Yeah, it should Can't be fun. That, that's at the end of September, I believe. Maybe early October. It's like the nice. first, last week and first week. Awesome. Cool. And uh, How about where you can you find you online? Uh, on Twitter. At a Twitter? Great old Twitter. Uh, at Rion Liam Mar. Uh, Grinder. Blogspot, Google Plus, and Instagram at mar at liam or at mar dot liam. Gotcha. Very yeah. nice. Well, you can find me on Twitter at the fake b mar. That's b m a r r. You can find the channel on Twitter at wg everything on Instagram at wicked everything on Twitch at twitch tv slash wicked everything. And of course, the main channel is on YouTube at youtube dot com slash wicked everything. But this channel. They just watched one, if not two of podcasts back to back, because this is a two parter. <laughs> is Wicked Good Podcast. Help us get some more subscribers so we can get to 100 and have youtube.com slash Wicked Podcast. That would be pretty awesome. Anything else? No? Like, subscribe, leave us comments. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Bye. Hey, so before. Uh... You uh, get on out of here. I uh, brought a cool little video that we're going to attach to the end of this video. It is uh, the toast war that me and uh, Kevin Knightley had last night. It was uh, it was pretty special. It was a great night. Uh, packed room at Nick's Bar in Worcester, and I think we uh, put on a pretty good show. But uh, I'll let the video speak for itself. You know, I just figured I'd, I, I don't know. Yeah, I, I, could, I, I could bring, if I can bring my stand up into this yeah. in any capacity, I figured I would. So this is something I, I think. I prefer toast to roast battle. You think so? I do. I I like it when people bring it up. Enjoy the clip, guys. Yeah, I think they're both fun, personally. (laughs) Please welcome to the stage Liam Marr and Kevin Knightley. Hey, Brian. Hi, guys. How's it going? Oh, it's so I'm so happy you guys are here. Uh, Liam, uh, baby shoes. <laughs> we're we're starting a nickname for Kevin. Uh, Kevin maybe she's nightly. Um, he uh, it was it was Nighthawk for a while, but there was a copyright infringement issue, so uh, we're going baby shoes. Uh, are you guys? Are you guys? How was work? It was all right. Just Miles glad to be here, man. Okay, we don't want to. It was a bad day. We don't want to talk about it. All right. Uh, we will uh, we'll we'll have you talk to somebody. Before we set you back Thanks. out on the beat, um, begging for it, <laughs> uh, guys. Uh, this has been an amazing night so far. Uh, do you guys think you are ready to outnice each other? I mean, it's not going to help with the rumors, but certainly I'm ready. There's rumors. <laughs> well, hey, we'll let, you know, we'll let that now. We'll let we'll let the battle speak for itself. Who would like to go first? I could let Kevin go first. <laughs> okay. All right, that was very nice of yeah. Liam. Thanks, Liam. Good job. Uh, you, uh, uh, you, you ready for this? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, God, here we go. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. I have stretch marks. Um, it's not hip replacement. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and say no one thought it was, but that's appreciated. You guys can tell. Even if it was, it still looked great. <laughs> Thank you. Kevin, you're up. <sighs> Liam, uh, just soak this in for a sec. <laughs> <laughs> Liam has such good hygiene, he spits on homeless people. <laughs> Kevin Knightley wears shorts better than and Frank writes books. <laughs> Thanks, Liam. Good time, Bob. Uh, Liam is so good looking that when I'm around him, I barely even repress my gay thoughts. <laughs> Kevin Knightley is so likable, 
Even his mother wants him back inside of her. <laughs> oh, thank you. Well, uh, gee, for my last joke, I actually, um, actually wrote a poem. Oh, jeez. Our second. Second poem of the night. This is great. Oh, wow. I didn't yeah. think there would be so many poems. <laughs> I, I had the under with Doug. He's a special guy. So, um, Liam's face was carved by the angels. He looks good from every angle. <laughs> The way the wind hits his hair is so rad. And he doesn't judge me when I call him dad. <laughs> Every gay thought I've had for him, I tried to wrestle it. But it's kind of hard when he's a hotter Anthony Jesselnik. <laughs> And, uh, you know, I must reluctantly own up. Because while writing this poem, I was completely boned up. <laughs> Stirring. <laughs> All right, Brian. Uh, this so, is, that wasn't a yogurt joke, I'm sorry. Uh, Brian, this is a little embarrassing. Uh, as you mentioned before, uh, someone else, I guess, already did poems. I didn't realize we were such hacks, but... Uh, I also wrote a poem. This is incredible. <laughs> it's uh, titled, To Kevin, My Knight. <laughs> Kevin Knightley's boyish charm promises that he means no harm. Kevin's comedic voice is both unique and mighty. He uses it, uses it to make Worcester laugh nightly. Even with material that may be just slightly anti-Brazilian, <laughs> the love people have for him burns brighter than the Amazonian. <laughs> He's a co-worker, a friend, and a classical romantic. While his personality may be slightly bombastic, his jokes are nothing short of fantastic. To Kevin I toast, in my mind, a true king of roasts. Thank you. I'm all boned up again. <laughs> Mission accomplished. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I think you guys should, first of all, hug. Uh, Midsection press kiss. I'm not, that seems. You don't want to give it all away at once, guys. Yeah. Well, it's going to be a drip feed. Yeah. <laughs> Sign up for our Patreon. You can see him kiss. Uh, uh, Ten dollars an hour. <laughs> Guys, uh, first of all, amazing job to both of these guys. Uh, that was incredible. Uh, we are, uh, the uh, physiques are not part of the judgment uh, because they're both equally stunning. Uh, uh, we, uh, we're very lucky to, I think, uh, first of all, the first winner is uh, all of us for that. Yes. Uh, I agree on that. Uh, but I, I, I think you guys, I think that was a tie. I think that was a tie. I don't see how, they were both so amazing. Give it up for both of them. You guys both took it tonight. Thank you. It's Kevin Knightley and Liam Marr. Give it up for them one more time. Thank you guys so much. That was incredible. Nice. I'll get your shirt off the floor. Oh yeah, you guys yeah. don't, this place is pretty dirty. Um, <laughs> Theater. Okay, this is super awkward. Get off the stage. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you guys are great. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, concentrate. The nipples are staring in my eyes. That was amazing. <laughs>